Parents in Hoover are sounding off this after a school rezoning proposal has their kids being shipped past one school to another school miles away from their home. Well, CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff spoke with parents in the Hoover School Superintendent tonight. Jamie's live in Hoover with what uh, she found out. Jamie? Well, Jim, here's just one example. Parents living within blocks of Gwynn Elementary School are very frustrated. That's because the new rezoning maps would transform a walk down the street for their children to a 20 minute commute across town. And tonight, those parents just want to know what the reasoning behind all of this is. The new rezoning maps revealed Thursday by Hoover City Schools have some parents feeling a bit blue. We have blue ribbons, we have t-shirts. Um, we truly are a community and um, we're all coming together just to show support for, for Gwen and for keeping it as a community school. Laura Jackman and other families say a big reason they moved to the preserve community was so their children could walk to nearby Gwyn Elementary. Under the new plan, those kids would be bused several miles away to trace crossings. Which doesn't sound terrible, but there again, when you're comparing it to walking and the flexibility that that offers and the experience that that offers, uh, that's kind of one of the issues that we have. Again, just one of the issues. What impact does that have on our community? Not only our children, but our property value. Ahead of several community meetings planned by the school board to discuss the new maps, parents came from all over Hoover to Monday's Board of Ed meeting to ask why. My purpose here is to formally request additional information related to this rezoning process. Superintendent Kathy Murphy says she's happy to give them that info. This is a transparent process. Uh, no one uh, is, is uh, working in secrecy. This is our community and these are our stakeholders and we want them to know what we know. I'll be interested to see how this comes out. Do we really have a voice? I hope that we do. All right, now all of this information that has been added and Dr. Murphy said will be added is going on to a certain website with Hoover City Schools. We have a link to that on our website, WIAT.com. We are live in Hoover tonight. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.